Andy Mogul. Friday 101 is about to begin. If you're looking for a particular segment, click one of the topics listed below. Hey Indie Moglers, Russell here. First off, I hope you enjoyed the live show on Wednesday. I always enjoy watching live broadcasts fall apart myself, so... Has anybody else lost Griffin? <laughs> Is he lost? I just thought he was writing down answers for a second. Yeah, I thought he was just relaxing. Second, while the Indie Mogul live show runs from 6 p.m. to 7 p.m. Eastern or New York time, those of you who have some more time to spare can spend even more time watching live programming before and after the show on here. At 4.30 p.m. Eastern Time on my own channel, Hey Killer Films, myself and Chad, along with our producers Jason Allentoff, who was in the first few episodes of Friday 101, and Jonathan Tuckerman, whose father David I interviewed a couple months ago, do our own live show that ends about 15 minutes before this channel show begins. While we still answer questions, it's a bit more laid back of an atmosphere and it has more of a talk show format. Friend us on Google Plus through the link right at the top of this video's description for a chance to potentially join us live on a future episode. Subscribe to youtube.com slash heykillerfilms or like us on Facebook to get notified when we go live and get the links you need to watch and comment at us while we talk. And recently, when the Indie Mogul live show is over, Eric Beck and Justin Johnson over at youtube.com slash theindiemachines also do a live show at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. Hopefully this trend continues, so you should make sure to add them on Google Plus as well, and you can find yourself sitting in front of your computers watching many, many hours of live programming on YouTube with the Indie Mogul personalities that you've enjoyed so much over the years. I hope. That's enough for me, let's get to the show. For those who missed it, on this past week's live show, we pointed out that it was exactly one month before my wedding, which is taking place on October 12th. I eagerly await all of your congratulations in the comments below. That being said, there's so much going on now to prepare that there'll be a few episodes in the next month that are a little shorter due to lack of time, but I wanted to be sure that these episodes still cover the topics you want to know about, and one that I can cover pretty quickly is one of the most asked questions that I've received in comments and in our email at friday101mail at gmail.com, which is how to record video straight from your computer screen easily and for free. Years ago, when we needed to record footage off of a computer monitor, it would look horrible. Older CRT monitors, would show up on camera with their images looking like so. Luckily, nowadays monitors show up much better on camera. In this video that I did for Movie Quest last year, we just pointed the cam at the monitor and recorded that way, and it looked pretty good. But in some situations, it's better to actually use the footage directly from the computer. And I'm going to show you my favorite method. Now there are a lot of programs out there that will record your desktop in one way or another, and feel free to share in the comments below if you have a preferred program that you like to use. But when it comes to ease of use, and ease of editing, you can't beat Livestream Procaster. Available at Livestream.com, the program's main purpose is to broadcast live on the internet, but it has a feature built in called Preview Mode, which, instead of broadcasting live, only records directly to your hard drive. And it does this in the H.264 codec, making it easy to edit with for most. Here's how it works. First, download and install the program from Livestream.com. You have to create an account to run it, but it's pretty quick and simple, not to mention free. When the program pops up, make sure that the top bar is set to Preview Only. To make things easier on yourself, select No Camera if you have a webcam plugged in. Then you select your bitrate, and for me, this one here, 3196 KB per second, works well, and it also outputs at 720p at that rate. You can adjust this in the preferences to suit your needs if you wish. You can also set your frame rate, which in this case is 30. Save that, and go live. The video is now recording to your desktop to your default videos folder, which in my case is just my videos. By default, it should be recording the full screen, but if you want to zoom in on the picture at all, the quality degrades to the point that it isn't quite as usable. But notice the corners and you'll see these green guide markers. By zooming in on the picture, you can make sure that the quality stays high as the program readjusts itself. And then you have a preview window that can help you make sure that the aspect ratio is right. The file itself is always recording to 16.9 or 4.3, depending on what your preferences are set to, so you don't have to worry about having incorrect video dimensions. You can make sure you have your edges in check, even when using dimensions that aren't so common. Now you can hit stop, check your videos folder 
folder for the file, which should default to the name Livestream Procaster, then numbers for the date and time the video is recorded. From there, you can import it to your editor, and that should do it. Note that there's a little yellow circle around my mouse pointer, which can be useful if you're making an instructional video, but if you want to turn it off, you can do that from the desktop section of the preferences. And that's it! A quick and easy way to get your video from your desktop that you can incorporate into your short films. Again, if you have your own method, share that in the comments below, but otherwise, I'll see you all next week. I'm thinking of doing the ultimate guide to free sound effects online, similar to what I did with music sites a few months ago. So if you have any suggestions for free sound effects sites, let me know in the comments below, or email me at friday101mail at gmail.com. We'll see you all next week, and don't forget to check out Indie News with Griffin Hammond on Monday. See you then.